What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism here bringing you guys video number 10. Almost got all of our skill builds done. Uh, this is going to be about the assassin, which if you look at here at the core stats at the bottom left, it'll, it pretty much tells you that the assassin actually has the potential to do the highest DPS. But the only downside about the assassin is that you're really squishy and you have to be up close all the time. So yeah, and you kind of don't really have that great defense. But yeah, let's check this out real quick. Now, what the assassin is, is pretty much you want to bank on stealth and critical hits. Now, what uh, what I'm doing here, uh, I went straight down. What you got to do is, uh, I want to, I would say, starting off, concentrate on your stalker tree. So that way you can, uh, obviously, start off with stealth. But that way uh, you can get ambush. So that way while you're in stealth, shortly and shortly after leaving it, your attacks ignore some of your target's armor. So pretty much when you're in stealth, they're, you already ignore 50% of their armor, so that's more damage that you're doing. Uh, and then, of course, if you do flanking, or if you do this uh, flank reduction 100%, meaning that uh, if you're a little too close but you're still in stealth, they won't notice you. So that's actually really good. And then, uh, of course, restoring stamina is always great uh, when it comes to getting kills. And then flank attack. Flank attack upgraded with uh, going back into stealth. That's really fantastic. And then, of course, you got to do... Uh, when you attack from stealth, you automatically critical hit, so that way you're always doing tons of damage, especially if you use this and you go back into stealth. That's already two guaranteed critical hits, which is just crazy. And we'll see if maybe if we have enough points to get down, so that way we have this, uh, so we can remove the cooldown on our stealth. But yeah, that's that's this tree so far. Now when we get into the assassination tree, uh, people are saying Twin Fangs is really good which I'm probably going to agree with that. I mean, I really like Shadow Strike just because it sounds badass and you do, like, some retarded, like, crazy Hadouken uppercut type of shit. Uh, but, I mean, when it comes to the damage, Twin Fangs is probably a lot better. And uh, what we get is First Blood, of course, if they're slightly injured or obviously if you're sneaking up behind them and they're unwary, like, they have no idea what's going on. Uh, that's actually really... Oh, wait, no. Oh, never mind. I'll be retarded. So if they're... Ah, so if their th uh, health threshold is above 80%, then you're going to do 15% extra damage. And then uh, Mercy Killing, uh, when your attacks are, uh, are on panicked or sleeping enemies, they automatically critical hit, which I believe, if this is correct, uh, I think I've experienced it before, even when I've done a solo on uh, routine just to like try out some stuff. Uh, it's actually really good because when you do critical hits from behind, I believe that automatically puts them to sleep. So, yeah, that's still really nice. And the fact that you do more damage to isolated targets, so pretty much anybody who's just kind of, like, by themselves, or obviously you're just picking them out. Like, if you're not doing AoE damage or anything like that, you just run up right behind this dude, and then, bam, done. 50% bonus damage. That's just insane. And then, uh... You want to make sure you have hidden blades because what one of my friends uh, pointed out to me is that so number of hits is uh, three and it's 300% weapon damage per hit. So that's already 900% uh, weapon damage. And then you get an additional three hits and a four second uh, cooldown reduction. So, I mean, if you do that, you got six times three. That's 1800% weapon damage. So if you're in stealth and you're guaranteed a crit critical hit, what I would do is you uh, open in your rotation, you open with stealth, you uh, you flank attack, so that way you go back into stealth, and then that way you can uh, open up with uh, hidden blades. Because, I mean, it would be nice to hit this uh, it, with anything. I guess this is good, like, whether you're head-on or whatnot, but definitely the uh, f stealth, flank attack, hidden blades combo is just ridiculous. I'm actually going to probably run my character. I'm level 12. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, I know I can't solo th like threatening, so I'm probably going to run through routine and uh, see how well I can do this on. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give this uh, give this a, a, a count. So we got uh, level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So by level 12, you should already have... Uh, this this build actually just complete overall because again when you're 
in stealth, like there would be no point to try and go down towards this because in stealth you're automatically guaranteed a critical hit, so you wouldn't need critical hit chance. That would be really, really dumb. Oh wait, death blow is actually pretty nice too. Yeah, if we're at level 12, I think what we can do is, uh, I would say go ahead and get, yeah, you go down to throw cutter, so 12, 13, hang on, yeah, so 13, uh, 14, 15, <coughs> uh, 16, definitely, 17, 18, yep, fuck it, I'm saying 18, yeah, that's actually really nice. What? Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, and then you get that, so that's 19. So then we have one more skill point. Um, can't do anything except those. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say, and then level 20, or, yeah, level 20, put on Bloodthirst. But, yeah, guys, that that's, that's it. By level 12, you should have the main build pretty much done. And then afterwards, you want to build down towards uh, Death Blow and replace that with from replace Twin Fangs with that. Yeah, that's going to be really, really dirty. So yeah, guys, don't forget to ro the rotation. You go uh, Stealth, Flank Attack, or yeah, Stealth, Flank Attack, then Hidden Blades. So yeah, guys, I really hope this uh, helps you guys out. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it, and you do a shit ton of damage if you guys want. Uh, do video responses or anything like that, or uh, comment the links of uh, some really crazy clips of you doing some like retarded ass damage. But yeah, guys, this is my build for an assassin. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do uh, again like what I was gonna say with the archers that I'll probably do uh, a, a video clip or whatever of something whenever I do like a ridiculous amount of damage with this class. But, yeah, guys, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed. This has been your boy Dot. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. How to adoption is and link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And don't forget to uh, stop by 7controllers.com. Use a discount code at, uh, adopt ADOPT. Um, upon your checkouts, so that way you can get 5% off, because, I mean, that would show my support that you guys are using my discount code, and it'll, I would also be able to uh, pretty much help you guys out at the same time by giving you guys a discount on something really awesome. So, yeah, guys, really hope this uh, helped you out, and see ya! I'm kidding. Fuck Scumpy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love him. Alright, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.